Hi my beauties and welcome back to my channel and today I am going to recreate this look right here for you all and I did create this look keeping in mind the fall season that is coming along because it's just going to be winters and it's like awesome to wear bold lips and so I did paired it up with these coppery uh, eyes and made sure that I don't apply a liner or something like that making sure that the look you know uh, I didn't wanted your attention to keep on fluctuating between my lips and my eyes so I did kept my eyes a bit muted you know the liner actually highlights them a lot so I did plan on keeping the eyes a bit subtle still having some sparkle in it but yet start subtle at the same time as well and we concentrate uh, concentrate my entire intention towards my lips and right now I have realized that I'm blabbering since past like one or two minutes I guess so I think I shouldn't extend this uh, intro a lot. I'd just like to request you all to just go ahead and please subscribe to my channel for more such videos. And do let me know in the comments below if you people want me to film more such looks and any other look if you people want me to do. You can just go ahead and comment below and I'll do it all uh, for you all. And with that being said, I'll not waste any time of yours. And I'll ask you guys to just straight away jump into the video. So I'm starting off with a prepped and primed face and I'm using my Chambers Sheer Delight Foundation in the shade Ginger and I'm applying it all over my face with the help of my paddle brush and then blending it out with the help of my buffing brush. This one is by Real Techniques. And because I have a habit of blending my foundation with the help of my uh, beauty blender I don't find it now comfortable using my uh, buffing brush so here you can see me using my freedom pro concealer first of all I'm applying it on my eyes because they are seriously pigmented and then I have applied it in the usual areas where I love to highlight that is in a triangular shape under my eyes on my forehead down the bridge of my nose and then I have blended it all out and now I'm setting it all with the help of my Chamboss foundation, uh, sorry, compact. And I'm applying that all over my face for the sole reason that I have seriously oily skin. Now taking the Freedom Pro Stroke palette, I'm taking that darkest shade and I am sculpting my jawline with the help of the same palette and the brush that comes along with it. I personally feel like that it gives a very precise application. I love this brush to the dots trust me you guys it's one of the most awesome things i've been through then taking the la girls pro hd setting powder i am applying it i'm trying to actually apply it in a thick layer under my eyes so as to make sure that the concealer gets baked along with that it will help me to catch any fallouts that i are going to be happening on under my eyes and Trust me you guys, I'm not a huge fan of this powder. This is way, way, way too mild, way too silky, way too, you know, powdery. It just flies away from the face in no time. You don't, you won't be able to understand. I'm not able to clearly tell you guys how it feels, but it's like, it's way too powdery. And uh, now here you can see me going ahead with my Makeup Revolutions palette. I don't remember last when I picked this palette up I it has been ages but trust me you guys it has some amazing shades going on so I'm taking that coppery shade right there and then I'm applying it all over my eyelid and this in this look you'll be finding me using just my eyeshadows and uh, I won't be using any liner because I am going to apply a very bold lipstick so I did try to make sure that I don't go ahead like your concentration doesn't keep on shifting from my eyes to my lips so here you can see me I've applied the eyeshadow on both of my eye eyelids and now I'm taking my angled bl blending brush and the darkest brown shade and I am going to carve out the outer V of my eye I have placed the brown color with the help of that angled brush and now here you can see me taking my uh, normal blending brush and I am applying a transition shade that is lighter to the brown shade that I have applied earlier and then 
I am going to take the brown shade once again and then I'm going to blend the outer V as well. <coughs> and I'm extremely sorry if I'm having a bad throat. I continuously have a bad throat when it comes up to winters. And here you can see me continuously trying to blend that out. I personally felt that this eye took me more time in being created because I wasn't getting satisfied with the color payoff because the second layer that I have applied of the copper shade you guys, as you guys can see was really not necessary in person but the camera was not able to catch the color pretty clearly so I thought of applying an, another layer to make sure that you guys can see what I am doing with my eyes then you can see me using the same dark brown color under my eyes as well and on my lower lash line and then I'm taking a black color eyeshadow and I'm applying it onto my upper lash line as well here you can see me doing the same to my other eye I'm applying the black liner uh, black uh, eyeshadow on the lower lash line as well as upper lash line and I am blending it all out making sure that the black color is diffused into the brown so that anything doesn't look harsh I'm blending it on my lower lash line as well making sure that uh, all the colors are mixed together now my eyes are done with the eyeshadow now I'm taking my powder brush and I am removing all of that HD setting top powder that I did applied on my face and blending my contour away as well I didn't took my angled brush today I just used the powder brush now I'm taking the uh, palette once again that highlighting and contouring palette and I'm applying the shimmery highlighting shade on my cheekbones and look at it it is so gorgeous it just shows up so very well and it uplifts your face to the dot and here you can see me applying it onto all the, those usual areas and trust me you guys highlighting your nose makes a huge difference because I have a Bugs Bunny type of a nose so contouring and highlighting helps me to reduce the appearance of that then here I have taken my uh, color bars blush in the shade pink tint and I'm dotted it all over my face and then blended it with the help of my buffing brush and then I have I'm taking Maybelline Colossal Mascara <clears throat> and I'm applying it onto my eyelashes one coat of it wasn't sufficient so you'll see me uh, again applying reapplying the mascara and I did have ordered a few fake lashes I'm sharing with you guys and as soon as they'll arrive I'll start using them now you can see me using the same dark brown color filling up my brows making sure that they look sharper and they match with the look as well do, uh, I'd like to request you all that don't you ever ever please go ahead and you know not to fill your brows just and here you can see me grooming them up brows are really important then taking my Lakme Kajal I am tight lining as well as applying it onto my waterline making sure that my eyes do have some definition Now here you can see me reapplying the Colossal uh, Mascara because I was feeling like my lashes were not showing up that well as they were supposed to be or as I was wishing them to be and today I have taken a resolution that I'm never ever going to do my makeup having my hairs open because they were disturbing me way too much but trust me you guys you people can feel they are a bit wet I just took a bath so they are wet so I, did, I couldn't tie them up that's why I did that now you can see me taking my colossal kajal I am doing something weird today because I was willing to go on board overboard actually with my lips so I took my Maybelline's colossal kajal and you can see me lining my lips as well as I'll be filling them in very lightly with a very light hand you don't have to go ahead with a very heavy hand in this step a light hand would do pretty good I'm now taking my LA Girls liquid lipstick in the shade that a deeper maroon shade that I showed you guys earlier I have reviewed this lipsticks as well if you people haven't seen it seen the review I will link it below you can go ahead and watch it as well so I am applying my liquid lipstick on my lips as here you can see me doing and this is the uh, final touch that I have given to this look 
and here you can see me the entire look i felt this is very fall appropriate and you guys can go ahead and even wear it on the new year's eve and uh, with that being said i guess the video was epically long so i think i should just close it up right here and please do not forget to hit that subscribe button i love you all bye